Hello there. Just wanted to make a short video on my thoughts on Second Corinthians chapter three, verse eighteen, and also to talk a little bit about this. You see the symbol of the cross right here. I think the cross is beautiful. I recently heard a preach a pastor at a church say that the like demonize the cross. But I think the cross is beautiful. It's a symbol of what Jesus did for us on the cross. Like, it reminds us of what Jesus did for us. He died for us. Without him dying for us, we would not be reconciled to God. So, I think it's a good memory of what reminds us of what of Jesus dying on the cross for our <laughs> sins. Which is so beautiful. Because if he didn't die on the cross for our sins and shed his blood on the cross for our sins, we would not be reconciled to God. So, praise God. I think the cross is so beautiful, but so many people try to demonize it. But, so here's the scripture I wanted to talk about. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. But we all, with an open face, beholding as in a glass, the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. So, this same image, we are, are changed, I mean, it says, are changed into the same image from glory to glory. I think the same image is talking about the character of Christ. We, we, um, become more like him in character. And we respond in a better way, like you have more self, like the fruits of the spirit, you have the fruits of the spirit, love joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. You have like these fruits of the spirit and they're stronger too. They grow as you grow with him. And um yeah. So and also the part from glory to glory I think it's talking about sanctification. You become more sanctified as you walk with him. You become more holy. You walk in a greater degree of holiness than you did in your life before. We're holy and we're set apart because of Christ and our faith in him. And he gives us his per perfect righteousness. We're, we are holy no matter if you just became a Christian today or you've been a Christian for 80 years. Um... We're, we're holy because of him. But I think that we go from glory to glory, meaning that we're, we have a greater degree of sanctification in our life. Say, in the beginning of my walk, I was, a, I was still a thief. And I didn't get rid of that until reading his word more and getting convicted by the Holy Spirit. And realizing, hey, this isn't right. I need to turn from this. And um, also I had lying at the beginning and I would give in to anger. And um, as I walk with, and sexual immorality, but as I walk with him, read his word, get convicted, repent, I turn from it. Now I don't have that in my life. So, um, I think that what it means to be go from glory to glory, you like have more, you know, you like, you become like, there's like less sins in your life. You're like getting the word in you more and you're learning to walk in the way of Christ. You're learning to follow Christ and follow the path of righteousness for his name's sake more. You're walking in more and more sanctification. And also, you know, like, there's, uh, even in my walk now, like, um, there's things that I need to be, we, until the day we die, I think we'll go from glory to glory. There's things that I need to be sanctified of. Sometimes with my husband, I'll, I'll, he'll say no to something and I'll, like, try to use manipulation and like beg for things and I need to not do that 
um, manipulation. It's, there's all these little things in our life that takes the Holy Spirit to reveal to us. And he, um, as we yield to him and repent for these things and turn from them in our life, we'll go from glory to glory in him and walk in more and more sanctification, more and more holiness and righteousness as we turn from the evil things that we do in our life. And we don't even see until he reveals it. Um, so I just wanted to share that, and I hope you have a blessed day. Go from glory to glory in Christ. Submit to him, repent for your sins, and follow the path of righteousness. He'll, he'll lead you in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. That's the scripture in Psalms 23. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.